So here is the first look of HyperOS Android 15 or you can say first time I've installed this on my device. I tried HyperOS after a long time and personally speaking I don't use it as a, as my daily driver from a long time but still I tried it after a long time so I just wanted to let you know HyperOS Android 15 beta how the things are going on which other things changed and new things introduced with this new version. So let's find out let's quickly get on to these kind of things this one is the ported version which I have installed on my device Mi 11X and definitely it's it's not a device specific video it's just about android 15 changes in hyperos you'll notice with android 15 this hyperos brings you this new options in the home screen layout and it was not there previously if you're using android 14 you'll get to know better and these are the home screen settings where you will find only few of the changes not a big change but few of the changes include the home screen layout option that is available as you can see home screen layout it's called standard by default and you also have the option named as dense i guess this is simply like by default it's four by five and something like that and if you choose dense one you will get more rows and more columns this is what i have this is i think what i found so far and yes this looks interesting by the way as far as i know it also focuses the main focus of hyper is android 15 is on animations same thing which you have in android 15 in google Google stock pixel in pixel android 15 the main focus the major focus is on improving the animations and same thing applies to hyper os android 15 the major focus is on animations quite improved animations personally speaking i'm not using any flagship device so far so i'll not be able to clarify that a bit but yes it's still good and also the settings ui is changed a bit this is also looking like a card style ui similar to what you have in android 15 stable update not actually a stable one but the qpr1 update which is introduced with the google pixel devices based on android 15 in display and brightness options you will find colors options and now we have more clarity on these kind of colors there are more options to configure the things are available for you to customize things are available for you to change and a lot more extra things i'm not so sure how many of you actually use these color options but these are available so definitely i just wanted to let you know we also have the option for color temperature in case you use this feature on your device Moving on to another thing which I actually found something new and that is healthy device usage. This is just a name. Basically some of the options are added to this menu or you can say this is this is available as a new menu, new sub menu you can say. You have these options which are actually similar. These are not the new features, just the layout like some features are actually grabbed from here to put it here and else and else just same kind of thing available. You also have the option for choosing the password for this which is similar to screen time settings available in iOS where you can set the password to change the screen time things and yes this is similar to that. In privacy and security options, by the way, I am using this China version, so things might be different if you use India Stable or Global Stable. But the thing which I personally loved about HyperOS or the features which you have here is like incognito mode, hide apps option is quite common. But this incognito mode is one of my favorite options right now. You can simply turn it on to suspend the microphone, camera and location related permissions on whole device so no app nothing will be able to access those permissions because you have enabled the incognito mode the shutdown confirmation option is also it's just so good and there you will find the additional settings which are quite common in aosp based custom rooms this is a ported edition as i just told you on my mi 11x so i will not recommend you to install this thing because personally speaking it's not that great enough so far but yes this is still there so i just wanted to let you know about the android 15 base because i tried hyperos after a long time i tried android 15 after a long time in hyperos basically this could be the first version but yes seems interesting one so definitely just wanted to let you know else we have similar kind of things if you want to know more about the changes the features which you will get in hyperos i think so i'll made a video on that too but the main focus as expectedly will be on avsp or pixel based custom rooms so make sure to subscribe the channel android 15 based custom rooms are coming very very soon with a lot of stability and customization so stay tuned thanks for watching we'll see in the next one